Welcome to another fishing video on GSP Sea Fishing. As you can tell, I'm at Reculva. Reculva in Kent, on the North Kent coast. It's smack bang in the middle of Minnis Bay and Herne Bay. Um, and this is where all the action is happening at the moment. Smooth hounds are coming in. So I thought I'd give it a go, try and get a video up on my channel. The problem we've got here at the moment, well, which you get all the time, is the weed. The weed is coming in thick and fast. Um, I've spoke to some uh, really friendly chaps down, down yonder. They've got weed coming in left, right and centre, so I'm not in a rush to get my rod set up yet. I am going to set them up slowly, show you what I'm doing. As the sun drops, it's getting towards high. We'll get the baits out in the water and hope we can find a window where the weed eases off and fish come on the feet. But um, I've also uh, missed the boat a little bit. I was due to, well, I was invited to be here on Wednesday night and I didn't quite make it. So, uh, sorry Richard. He had a pretty good session Wednesday night. Um, a little bit jealous. So. Hopefully he'll put a video up soon on his channel, Salty Hooks Fishing UK. Check that out. Um, I could only make Friday this week due to car troubles. Cars, mm, I don't want to swear, but cars, I hate cars. But I've got a new one now, so it's all good. And I can go fishing again. So I'm out today, after the hounds. Show you the baits I'm going to use. I would say it's a lovely evening, but it's not really. It's getting cold. I think it's getting down to about eight degrees tonight. And it's got a lovely northerly wind coming in at about 10, 15 miles an hour. So not very nice. And the wind's rolling in. Anyway, let's get the rods out, get fishing. So, as the sun finally sets over the horizon, now is getting a good time to get some baits in the water. And we'll see what the weed situation is like. So, my two rods are here set up and they are the normal two culprits. I have got on the left the Synetic Crosspower Heavy matched with a Synetic Cyclone Black Reel. And that's on, I think it's 25 pound braid. And we've got a 32 kilo Synetic Skyline leader, very, very thin, cast like a dream. And on the right, we've got the Sonic Gravity HT. That's matched with a Shimano Altegra 14,000. That's got 20 pound braid on it. And again, it's got 32 kilo leader, Synetic Skyline. Then down at the business end, on the Synetic, cross power I've got a pulley rig there's a pulley bead and we're gonna come down here you can see the large hook there which is a black magic 6-0 and that comes down there to a six ounce gripper and on the sonic you can see a different rig and this is a pulley dropper rig so you can see the bead is clipped there. That is clipped to a pulley bead with a spare swivel. And this bent rig clip 
when casting, clips into that swivel to make this rig clipped up and streamlined for casting. And then when it hits the water, this releases and comes down to the bottom. And on that, I've got a 4 there in my finger and a small um, offset, like an octopus hook. I don't know what really that is, but um, that's what it is. And we're gonna put different baits on each of these rigs. So let's look at the bait now. Now, when you're coming fishing for one species only, it makes selecting your bait pretty easy. You don't have to have a big bait bag full of this massive variety of bait. You can go with the specific bait for that species of fish. So I'm here for smooth hounds, makes it pretty simple. They take two baits really, crabs and prawns. So I've got with me a mixture of prawns, I've got these large king prawns, raw, shell on. I've also got, which I might try, these raw Argentinian shrimp with shell on, without a head. Then I've got crab, peeler crab there. I've got some peeler crab and maybe to bulk some of them peeler crabs out, I've got some king prawn that raw with shells off just to bulk some of these peelers out if they're a bit small very simple i'm going to put crab on one hook and that's going to go on the synetic with the single black magic and i'm going to put a prawn i might try the argentinian one first on the pulley dropper which is on the sonic and let's see which one gets bites if any so let's get them on now so as the sun has set the light is dropping let's try and get this in view in the shadows i'm basically this is a peeler i'm going to go through the back sockets unfortunately the legs have snapped off on this one but that doesn't matter that's on the hook there you can see the hook that's mounted i'm then going to just offer up a prawn to it as well keep the prawn straight and bait elastic that all on There we go. Prawn and crab on that hook. Let's clip him up. That is ready to go out. I'm gonna get the other one baited up first and get them out together. Now here we go on this prawn. I'm gonna come through underneath towards the thicker end where the head would have been. I'm gonna bring this round like so and out underneath there. And then I'm gonna bait elastic that on. Bring that sliding hook down, which I'm going to get into the meat and back out. Like so. Oh, it's soft there. Ah, there we go. I missed it that time. There it is. Get that in there. I've got a bit of silicon there to go over the eye, just to hold it in place. Like so. And then I'm going to finish bait elastic in that up. There we go. Second bait on. Let's get that out.
if you are fishing for hounds or big fish, tote, um, blonde rays, or anything that's got a chance of taking line, make sure you set your drag. Set your drag, loosen it off. You're gonna have to play around with it a little bit because the tide will take it. I think weed is possibly taking this now, so I'm just gonna click it around a little bit just to stop too much line coming off it. But you want the fish to be able to run with the bait if it picks it up. Because if it doesn't, it's taking you right out of your tripod and you may lose it. And I've just got a new tripod. Uh, I've got the Icom tripod. My other one had uh, seen better days. And the only thing, I love it because it's got, I've got the Icon extra wide bars, which are ideal for fixed spool reels. But I don't like them because they're curved. And because they're curved like this, semi-circular, they pinch the line if you take the line through it. I don't like taking the line under it because I end up forgetting and then pulling my whole tripod over when I strike into a fish. I prefer V, v holders because then you've got room for the line to run in the gap underneath the curve of the rod. But let's get that far to getting a bite and uh, having line rip off. Let's see what happens. Also, if you're coming here to fish, Reculver, you've got a lot of rock groins separating different bays along the beach. Now, where is the one behind me? There you can see the marker, just there, at the end of the rock groin. Don't set up too close to these groins if you can help it. Because, if you're lucky enough to hook into a big fish, there is a great big chance that it will kite around the end of the rock groin and you will lose it. So, I've given myself about 40 meters from it. That should give me enough chance to bully a fish back away from that rock groin before it gets around it. Well, I think weed has caught this one already. He's flown round and over this. So I'm just seeing if it's under it. Yeah, it's under it. So let's bring this in and reset this. There's a lot of weed on this. Ah, there's some weed on it. Let's get it in. It actually feels like there's a fish on this. But I didn't really get a bite. It doesn't feel weedy. Oh no. Just got snagged. Come on. Something's, uh, something's coming off it. Weed, I think. There was weed on the line. And I've pulled this down. It's caught the line halfway up. Which was giving me the jerking. And now it's hit the lead. And it's got heavy. Let's get this in. It really pulled round, this has. It's going to be hard work for an hour or so, I think. There's an enormous man. Come on. There it goes. Well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. And there will be a window of opportunity, I'm pretty sure of that. Just depends when. There we go. Come on, 
out of the weed. Ah, oh, there's a the weed. On the line. Lovely. Bait's all right. Let's get them back out. So, cast again. You've got to persevere. You never know when that weed's going to go off. I don't want to sit around for 15 minutes and lose 15 minutes of fishing time. So, I'm going to keep at this. It's swinging from right to left, so I'm walking up the beach a little bit. Let's get these set again. So whilst I'm uh, pressing around, recasting rods every 10 minutes until the weed goes, please um, subscribe to this channel if you're a new watcher, um, you just found this video, please check out my other video videos, go down below, press the subscribe button, it, it helps build this channel. And it gives me a lot more encouragement and incentive to do more videos. I've got a lot of videos around Kent, the south, and from abroad, for Aventura, I fish a lot. So um, please check them all out, and uh, I hope you enjoy this. Well, the other one's just come in. Again, full of weed. More weed piles picking up. This one's got weed on it as well. Yeah, but I think I've got a little bite on this left hand rod, but it doesn't look smooth roundish. It's very odd. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, I don't know if a dogfish has picked it up. Let's see what happens. Well, I think this might be the moment. If I'm going to get a fish, if they're going to come on the feed, now's the time I'm going to catch it. The weed has started to ease. We're about half an hour before high. So, let's see how long this lasts and let's hope, fingers crossed, the fish come in on the feed. Have you got it? All right, we've got one here on the Argentinian shrimp slack liner I was sitting there on my own business and all of a sudden BANG slack line feels okay yeah 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 it's a good fish got good fish on here A little bit of Where is he? Wee, hey, he's a good, good fish on here. Nice. Oh, there is he. Where is he? I don't know how far out he is. Trying to get my drag 
right. Tighten that way now. How far out is he? He's not far at all, where is he? There it is, come on. In he comes, come on. That do. There we go. Nice. There we go. First smooth hound on the deck. He's not a monster, by any stretch of the imagination. But he was partial to a bit of our Argentinian shrimp, red shrimp. He's taken that. I'd say he's about five pounds, four or five pounds. I don't weigh fish, not that bothered. But I will get a nice picture of him. There he is, look at that, lovely. Lovely fish. What we want to do, we want to get, um, make the most of this window without the weed, get another bait out. But I am very, very pleased with that. Let's get a photo, get him back. Right, let, let, let's get this one back. There you go. Look at that, that is really coming in now. That's rushing in, look at it, crashing in. Right, let's slide this one back. Best we can. There he goes. There he goes. Lovely. Let's get some bait out. Right, got another slack liner on here. Another slack liner. Let's find him. Let's find him, where is he? He's running, he's running in. Oh, is he on here? No, I think I missed him. I missed this one. Right. Let's get this one out again. This is the peeler crab. I missed the bite on this whilst I was sorting the other fish out. So they're here. The surf has really, really picked up. It's really rough here. We've got about 20 mile an hour wind now coming on shore. Um, it's a bit beasty. So I'm gonna move this back a little bit. Where we're dry. And let's try and get us a couple more. But I've got one, so I'm happy. If the weed's back already, this one has pulled round. Uh, what's going on? Get some fresh bait. Yeah, weed. Weed. In already. Ah, come on. I'm not sure whether you can make this out, but that sea is rough as anything. It is caked in weed all over the place. So I think I'm gonna cut my losses. First rod brought in. The weed is back with a vengeance. Well, the house going back out. Let's get the second one in. Well, that is me done. 
prematurely. I didn't want to finish, but this wind, this weather has put pay to this session. It is beastie. The weed is getting pushed up onto the shoreline in, in its droves. Um, I've got big clumps of weed around where I was fishing. I'm sure every other fisherman along the beach has got the same. I can still see lights along there. Um, so there's still people um, giving it a go, but I'm not. Um, once them rods are going out and uh, collecting weed within two minutes, I'm not up for that. I'm not gonna fight that battle. I'm only gonna lose. But I got one. I would have had two if it wasn't for uh, bad timing. So it's not a blank, it's what I came for. It was on a bait that I didn't expect, on the Argentinian uh, red shrimp. So it's good to know that you can catch them on other things other than crab. And all in all, it hasn't been too bad. Anyway, please subscribe if you haven't. As I said, there's gonna be t-shirts coming out soon as well. So keep an eye out on them. And until next time, tight lines.